Hey there, After Effects dudes. This little tutorial is uh, kind of recreating the John Carpenter version of The Thing opening intro titles. If I just hit the space bar, you'll see what I mean. There we go. There we go. Okay. And just in my project, I've got the uh, little original image there. So I'm just trying to, to go for that. There we go. Go back to my comp. So it's quite nice. Okay, so let's uh, let's take it back to the top. I'm just going to delete these layers and just take my effects off. So back to square one. So this is my text that I typed in, and I used the Bradley Hand font. Seemed quite close. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get. Uh, the rough and edges effect. So I'm going to my effects and presets, type in rough and edges. Okay, let's drop that on. Alright, so let's say I want my I'm gonna go to about four seconds and set the border to zero. Okay, and go back to the start. I'm gonna increase the border. I can increase it faster if I hold down the shift key while scrolling with the mouse until it just, well, just about almost disappears. Okay, so it writes itself on like so. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the effects and presets and type in CC light stack. And this is one I want, CC Light Burst. Drop that onto there. Okay, and it's got to move it to here. Drop that down somewhere to the bottom so, so the rays point up. Okay, that's looking, that's looking pretty close. Uh, I may uh, just increase the intensity a little, work that up a bit, right, just do the length a bit, oh, that's looking pretty good, could have it straight, oh, no, I'm going to stick with fade, and I'm also going to do, click on set colour, and I want to choose a colour, and I could even just go into my project, just drop that on, go back onto my effect controls, and so just to get it close, Choose, choose the colour and delete that. So there we go. And maybe take down the intensity a little. Okay, so that that's looking pretty good. So if we uh, and I might also just just hit my U key there, just to do the ray length. I might just increase the ray length at the start, so the rays kind of get bigger and as they come in. Just uh, waiting for it to render, there we go. There we go. So as, as they write on, in fact that's maybe too much. Just, I might just need to speed this up a little in terms of the rough and edges. So I'm just taking the border down a little. Okay, that's better. So it's sort of coming on faster, like so. That a little bit quicker. So there we go. Then, um, because if you look at the original, the text, so we've got this effect, we've got these light beams coming out, we've got the text writing on, as it were. What I want to do is I'm just going to duplicate this layer and on the top layer, just remove that light burst, like so. So you start to see. 
the text coming on with the light burst around it so okay and then just to add a little more sparkle I went to layer new adjustment layer and just added on top of that some not glop but glow to give a bit of a, a bit of a punch to the whole thing maybe just increase the radius to soften it out a little bit and then we've got a really cool kind of effect right in on there so let me just take the intensity down slightly there we go so quite simple just the text and the CC light burst and we've got ourselves the thing okay happy after effects in